I hope you get a lot of subscribers, yeah. Hope you get millions of views on your YouTube videos, yeah. Hey citizens, I just wanted to tell you quickly about my birthday weekend. Yep, that's right. That's why you didn't get a video on Friday because my birthday just kept going. But let's talk about my birthday on Thursday. I woke up because I had to take Kiki to the vet and she wasn't cooperating and she wasn't trying to get out there and so I was already kind of in a bad mood almost. And so I had to carry her to the car. And once I carried her to the car, I realized that I had two Instagram messages and those Instagram messages came from one of my favorite cousins, Tasha. And I didn't even think about it, I didn't read it. I said, oh, let me look at it. So I look at it. And it is a video from one of my favorite comedians, Kev on stage, and he's wishing me a happy birthday. But not only was Tasha the first one to get it together, I was hyped, I screamed and called her and everything. My sister Melanie also popped off, and she was able to give me a video for Kev on stage too. So I'm gonna insert those videos here. Happy birthday, Shonda. Happy birthday, Shonda. Happy birthday, Shonda Canada. Canadian Queen 76 on YouTube from your cousin Tasha TNA. Happy birthday, yeah. I hope you get a lot of subscribers, yeah. Hope you get millions of views on your YouTube videos, yeah. To you. Hallelujah. Happy birthday to you, Shonda. Happy birthday to you, oh Shonda. Happy birthday from your sister Melanie and me, Kevin Stage together. We are wishing you happy birthday. I hope you enjoy it. We are a family like a shining tree. Happy birthday to you, Shonda girl. Now that you saw how hype I was about those videos and you can see why I was hype of it, my sorority sister, Passion, decided she wanted to go to the Cincinnati Music Festival and she invited me to go on Friday night. Friday night had SWV, In Vogue, Kim, Belle Bib the Bow. And Mary J. Blige. And y'all, Mary was getting it. She was doing her broke back dance. Feel bad for her though, you know, she's going through a divorce and stuff. So she she just gave that story. She told us the story and it was her whole set. I would have been tired doing that. She ended up the whole session, the whole scene, lying on the floor still singing. And that's how we ended the Cincinnati Music Festival. But here is where it gets real crazy. We get stuck in the parking garage. Why? Because the cars weren't even moving. The cars did not move for an hour. I fell asleep for about 30 minutes. I was like, okay, I told my I told my sorority sister, I was like, look, wake me up um, when we start moving or just wake me up in a minute if you want me to go do something about this. Well, she didn't wake me up, so I woke up on my own. And I said, oh, are we, you know, are we on the road? She was like, no, we're still in the parking garage. I'm like, what? We're still in the parking garage? So I go down to the, we were on the ninth floor. I go down to the second floor and I'm trying to figure out why we ain't moved for like a whole hour. Go down to the parking attendant and I'm like, excuse me, can people go out this way? He was like, yeah, he was just standing there for the whole time doing nothing. Yeah, I was pissed off. So I walked up from the first round to the second floor and I started to direct traffic, that's right. I didn't work in the parking garage and I started to direct the traffic and I called my sorority sister and I said, hey, let me know when your car starts to move. And she said, I'm not moving yet. So I directed traffic for 30 minutes. Then this guy named Troy from Philly came and he started helping me. We together got all that traffic moved out of the parking garage. I'm telling you right now, I wanted to call that management company and just curse them out because that was ridiculous. So yeah, so I ended up getting home about three in the morning. And if you know me, if I get home three in the morning on any given day, the next day is shot. But I, it wasn't because I came back 
and I was still able on Saturday to go dance practice and do all kind of stuff. And I finally got to go see Girls Trip. That movie is crazy. Yeah, it's cray cray. And that is my birthday highlights. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. Like this video if you like the story. Comment below. What was the craziest thing that you did for your birthday? Oh yeah, make sure you follow me on Patreon. Bye. That's Canadian Queen, 76 dude. Go and find it exclusively on YouTube. Oh yeah.